I am reviewing the La Fleur de Baudelaire Absinthe Fairy Choker by Alchemy Gothic. And this came from Dr. Melange on eBay, and they sent it very promptly. Um, nice packaging, except the blasted packing peanuts that always make a mess that I hate when any seller sends. And I'm going to say this until all sellers hear us and do not use them. Because, you know, when you're packaging, I guess it maybe doesn't make a mess, who knows? But when you're unpackaging, it always does, and no buyer enjoys packing peanuts. There's so many other things one can pad with. I think whoever invented packing peanuts and the little worm thingies of confetti need to be tormented. But anyway... Onward! I am Morticia, and if you guys are new, do subscribe, check out our spooky playlist. There's an Alchemy Gothic playlist that I will link below. And Gomez is behind the camera, and Slappy, our roommate and mascot, is hiding somewhere now. Slappy hiding is a scary thing, right? <laughs> so, okay. This is the Absinthe Fairy Choker, basically, and um, I saw a lot of reviews on Amazon about this. I should have taken as warnings, but... Um, a lot of times Amazon reviews are accurate, but sometimes people are just like not accurate. They're mean and wrong and petty, and so you just kind of have to take it with a grain of salt and decide. Like um, our Harry Potter Slytherin charm bracelet, I, I saw a review on it, and people were saying it was like plastic and crap, and that's solid heavy metal actually. And I was like, what bracelet did you get? This was um, Noble Collections. We're going to review that eventually, but I only digress to prove a point that sometimes they're like way off. And um, people were saying on Amazon that this choker was flimsy and bendable and I didn't think it looked it and I've never had problems with alchemy stuff being flimsy and bendable and so that was not true but unfortunately a lot of the other negative comments were um, I like this necklace I give it like meh and nice so it's kind of a conflicted feel um, I love absinthe I love um, the fairy the whole like you know creative bohemian kind of thing you can just imagine the Shelleys like sipping absinthe and doing some good writing like um, so, you know, and I love the jewelry that Alchemy has created, um, and I love their cat choker. I have their Bastet cat choker, and I usually wear it all the time, so I was like, ooh, okay, let me get some more Absinthe chokers, or Absinthe chokers, some more Alchemy Gothic chokers. And this one is just awkward, like, um, we go back to what I said about this cat barrette that I'm wearing. Um, the reviews on Amazon were accurate about it, too. It's tiny, it barely holds any hair, and they're selling it for like 17 to 20 some dollars, depending on the site. And it's like, if you guys are going to do that, you should say that it's barely going to hold any hair and it's just functional. It's not functional, it's just for looks. Or you know what I mean? Like, or they should sell you two for the same price and say that it holds back the hair on both sides. Like, um,. Yeah, like I said, you don't have to take my word for it. There are Amazon reviews that are echoing me on this. And I wrote Alchemy about it on Facebook, and they were nice and said, you know, just let me know, let us know, you know, uh, the problems you were having with it so that we can let our, our manufacturers or company or whatever know. So that was nice, except I kind of sent them a video telling them my problems with it, and I sent them a note telling them a little brief, you know, thing about my problem with it, and that I had sent a video showing, demonstrating. So I'm like, I don't understand. I think it's too much multitasking these days that people do, because it's like, why aren't you listening? Like... So I will reply with my problems, and I'm sorry about a little snarky remark that uh, if they bothered to read, they would have seen that I had already told them this. Because you know what? People need to pay attention. I'm sorry. Like, it wastes my time to have to say it again. And just like it wasted my time buying this in the first place. Um, I love black cats, though, so I'm kind of wearing it just ornamentally, and it holds back a little hair, and, like, it's what it is. But um, I do think companies need to test drive their stuff more, and they need to do it... Um, you know, before charging people their money. And I feel like, I, I like this necklace, so I wanted to get on and do a nice review, but I want to be honest with you guys too, and with companies, because I don't like seeing reviewers that I feel kind of suck up to the company, and they're like, oh, well, it's not that comfortable, but it's okay, hee hee hee. I just want to reach through the screen and shake them. Like, no, it's not okay, hee hee hee. It's really not. <laughs> Gomez knows, you've seen those suck up videos, right? Yes. Oh, it drives me crazy. And I don't like the negative stuff either, where people... They get an action figure and they're so nitpicky, but there's a slight bit of, of paint variation on the bottom of the shoe, and uh, I, I didn't like that. And I'm not picking on anybody specific, so I don't know. I hope I just didn't imitate anybody. Like so I, I, I was just making it up. I was thinking about Kyle's cousin in South Park, actually. <laughs> um, you know, so like it's just like get over it. I mean, like get over it. Um, so it's kind of like I try to be in the middle of those. I don't want to complain about every little thing, and I don't want to be a suck up and not tell you guys 
what you know you need to hear as a reviewer and I don't want to um, make a preachy video either but I just kind of wanted to lay that out there um, companies need to test drive their stuff whether it's an action figure which we review a lot of or like jewelry take a minute and wear it or you know put the action figure on the stand or put the little parts in its hands and see if it will actually hold them or NECA move the joints around and make sure they're not gonna break before you sell them to people I mean like why um, you know like have a beta tester like computer software to play with these and do it and see if it works you know before you sell it to people and charge them their money because to me and the same with jewelry alchemy needs to have people wear these I can do it if you need me to because I'm good like that wear these and try them and you know give you feedback before you charge people good money because to me now I'm like they don't care about my money this necklace I found it from this eBay store for 50 some dollars and you're probably thinking, ouch, but no, it's like 70 and up other places. And I'm sorry, when it's that much money, it needs to be easy to wear. It needs to sit naturally, and that's how it needs to be. Okay? So now we're finally going to get into the, the talk on this necklace. Um, people on Amazon were saying that they had to bend it to make it go around the neck properly. And I didn't really, I don't want to bend it. And I thought, okay, so I gently tried to see if it was super bendable, because, you know, some people were saying it was too bendable. And it didn't want to bend, which I'm good with. I would rather have non-super fragile, you know. So uh, when it wasn't feeling bending, I was not going to push it. I was like, okay, we're not going to do this. We're not going to bend this, because I don't want it to snap and break. Um, so I stopped, and I'm glad. I would rather it be sturdy, you know what I mean? But what, what else I would rather is, this is also from Alchemy Gothic. I love this. It's my Viennese ribbons a bat bracelet. It's so cool. It looks like those ornate gates, doesn't it? Like with the manor. And I just love it. And see how it curves around the wrist? And it doesn't stick out like this does. This kind of sits on your collar, but it kind of, it's awkward. If you bend or it gets looser or anything, it just, it sits awkwardly eventually. Um, where if they had made it curve a little around the neck the way this bat curves around the wrist, that would have been a much better looking fit. It could sit up here, like where my cat choker does. Now if I wanted this to sit up here, if I made it higher, see it's sticking out on the sides. It just doesn't look good and it's uncomfortable. It's pressing against my throat in a way because it's more straight than curvy and it's not comfortable. So I have to make it a little bit looser where it actually sits kind of on the collarbone and it looks good. It looks okay. Um, I think what they could have done was again curve it like this or maybe just put it like in the center of the of the ribbon the way the cat choker is, the best at cat choker, meaning it would have ended about here at the fairies and not gone to these. Maybe these are like smoke curlicues from the absence sugar cube when they like burn it or whatever. I don't know what these are on the side. They're pretty, but I don't know. They just kind of feel bulky and awkward. Um, I feel like a warrior in armor almost. <laughs> it's just kind of big. I like it. I like it for what it is, and I'm going to keep it. And I hope I'll get as much wear out of it as, as I planned, but I'm not sure. My cat choker was like 30, and I've worn it practically every day. It's comfortable. It's lightweight. It's durable. I sleep in it. I don't even feel it on. And this one was more expensive, and I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing it less. And I just think Alchemy should respect our money a little more. Um, there's another company that I love to buy from that makes gothic stuff out of pewter as well. They're here in the U.S., and even if you're in the U.K., they would still be cheaper. Uh, less expensive, not cheaply made to buy from because they're realmetal.com and they make really nice pieces. They're also pewter and they're probably half to a third the price of Alchemy and I've never had a piece from them that I had trouble wearing. And the only reason I'm saying that is, you know, if you're going to be more expensive, you should test drive your stuff and value your buyer's money and make it where they can always wear it and where they can make it their everyday jewelry if they want and you know what I mean like this could have been this just could just curve around the neck or they could have stopped it right here at the ends of these fairies maybe made little loops um, at the tips of the wings and then run a ribbon through kind of like the cat it would just be a little bit bigger than the cat if it stopped here with a ribbon you could make it as, as tight as you wanted or as loose and it would be beautiful like these whole things on the side if they're not gonna curve around are just unnecessary and I, they just don't really sit as naturally as they could. It's okay, but it's not an everyday piece, and when I pay that much, it would be nice if it were an everyday piece. So, um, as someone who makes and designs jewelry myself to a degree, and someone who is a jewelry fanatic and loves to wear it, I think my opinion counts a little, and that's my opinion for what it is. And I'm just feeling a little, like, miffed with alchemy that, you know, I told them my problem, and then they're like, well, if you tell us your problem, you know, we'll pass it on. I told you, and I sent you a bloody video where I showed you, and I'm just getting angry a little.
and I'm not usually, you know, you guys, I, I'm not. I don't like to be angry, but when I am, I, I have to say something because I think reviewers should and stores need to hear this, and they should respect us and our money a little bit more to make things more usable. And most people aren't going to spend $20 on a cat barrette that barely holds hair. They're not. And if they are, you could sell two for 20 and say that it holds back the sides a little bit. Right now, I have a raven on the other side that did not cost 20 bucks, and it was from Hot Topic, so yeah. Um, so I just do one on each side and that's fine, but I don't know that I would have done that if I had known it barely holds any hair, so. I, I'm just saying that as a, another, the, the, like in three months, two things I've gotten from Alchemy that I did not feel were as practical as they should have been for the price. And I don't think they had anybody wear this choker around and see how comfortable and how, um, practical it is. They were saying it was uncomfortable on Amazon too. And I was just like, you know, I don't understand. I mean, did they not have anybody wear this? It, it just doesn't seem like they did. And the description says you can wear it as long or as short as you want, but that's not really true. You can't because if you wear it shorter, it's uncomfortable. If you wear it longer, it doesn't sit naturally. It kind of looks weird. Like I'm going to make it just a little longer for fun now and show you. Um, again, I do like the piece. I like it um, for what it is. It has the two fairies on either side. You have the green gem in the middle. Then you have the skull because they like to show the image of alchemy, of, of alchemy, of the absence fairies rising from the skull because people would see the, the fairies when they, you know, were trippy on absence. And um, so, you know, here's the person seeing the fairies. So it's the skull. I don't know why it's not a head and it's a skull because I think they were probably alive when they were drinking absence. But everybody likes skulls, I guess, but us. So, um, I, I like them selectively. Anyway, you got the little green gem dangling from the skull, too. Some people were saying how it was on crooked and how it didn't look right and everything, but I haven't had that problem. I'm saying some people as in Amazon reviews and whatnot that I've read. This is made fine. It has the chains, two little chains here holding the skull dangle. It's got the green gem here. It's got the fairies. It's got this unnecessary bulky stuff on the sides that doesn't let it sit right. And see, this is how it is if you want to wear it longer. It really sits awkwardly. It's bulky. And it doesn't look right. So that thing about how you can wear it in their description, you know, different lengths. No, I guess you can adjust it if your neck is bigger or smaller. But you can't really wear it at different lengths. You can't even have it sitting a little bit lower on your collar because it doesn't really sit naturally. And if you bend over, it's going to look. It's just, it feels, it, it feels bulky and it looks, it just doesn't feel right. Um, so you have to tighten it. And, and I guess maybe when they made it, they were drinking absinthe. <laughs> um. So this is about how you have to wear it. I do think it's pretty. It's a lot. Um, and I don't, it's, it's sad just because I wanted it to be like an everyday piece. This is the ring it matches um, with. It's the Absence Fairy Ring. I did review that. It's in our Alchemy playlist. I love it. I wear it a lot. I was kind of hoping to do the same with the choker. Um, so I'm just disappointed that I can't do that. And like I said, I'm mainly disappointed that it just feels like they didn't give a crap and didn't even try to wear it to see because it's so obvious when you put it on it's not comfortable and you know no matter and if you try to change the length it doesn't look right so um that's it and if you sold it just like the cat if they had said okay this barely holds any hair but if you want to wear it as a showpiece go ahead that's cool that's what it's for they could have said this this is not everyday wear this is a showpiece you're probably going to be comfortable in it for a few hours and take it off if you like the way this looks and you want to do that go for it but i guess that wouldn't sell pieces would it so that's the point. If you tell the truth and it doesn't sell pieces, maybe you shouldn't make this design. And you've got to have people test drive your stuff. When I make anything before I sell it, I put it on and wear it for a little while and make sure before I make more of those that it looks right, it hangs right, it's comfortable. And like I said, if they don't want to take time to do that, I'm glad to do it. I mean, whatever, you know, like or, or I'm sure a lot of people will be glad to do it that are good reviewers. Um, they need people who wear jewelry and buy jewelry to wear their jewelry and tell them how it's going. Um, so, I don't know. This has just sounded like a preachy video. If you guys are new, my other reviews aren't like this, I promise. But I was just fed up with them not really, like, testing their stuff and seeing how well it works after two pieces in three months. And I really had high hopes for this because I love Absinthe and I love, like, their stuff. And their bracelet looked pretty big, too, so I made my own Absinthe Fairy bracelet, which is in our DIY playlist. So, yeah. But I'm going to report this on Facebook, too, eventually, and hope that they listen. And if they don't, you'll know they don't really care how you think or feel about their stuff. So whatever. If they do listen, I hope they do. Maybe they'll bother to watch this and actually think about it and go try on this for themselves and see how it works and be honest and try to wear it for, like, four or five hours, maybe. 
and just see, you know, because I don't want to feel my jewelry pressing on me. I don't want to really notice it constantly um, all the time when it's that expensive. Like, my Jack's Tally necklace is pretty big from them, but it hangs down here, and I can adjust the length, and it's not pressing on my neck, and I really can make it shorter or longer, and it will still look just as good. And you really cannot, with this, it's not going to change. It's not, it's just not going to get more comfortable, so you have to have it about right here. And it's still, I don't know, I still think these things that stick out a little still look kind of awkward. But I do like it. I'm going to keep it. I just, it could have been done so much better. And as a, a person who makes and loves jewelry, I'm going to keep thinking that every time. Like, you know, oh, if it had just stopped right here, I could wear it all the time and do this with it. And it would still have its style and flair and it would be great. Um, so that's the only thing. And I wouldn't want to make something that everyone's always going to wear and think at the time that it could have been so much better. Like, to me, that would not make me feel good. So that's why I'm saying this, because I think it needs to be heard. And if people don't like it, then, ah, uh, you know, I just can't do anything about it. But it's the truth. And I think more reviewers need to do that um, in the middle of not being super negative and nitpicky or just like everything's fine because I like the company. I like the company, but because I like them, I'm saying this is not OK. It's just, you know, it isn't. So um i hope i won't say i hope you've enjoyed this review i hope it's been informative i do think this is pretty um i'm wearing it with my little garnet and silver like poison bottle that i got from ebay in another jewelry haul because i like red and green together like jekyll and hyde or freddy or whatever it's nice and you know absence could be like a potion of its own so i like that little combo uh, i like the way the skull dangles under uh, yeah with that stay spooky